Yeah, good morning guys. Um, uh, this is kind of a little quickie foul up video from yesterday. You know, we did this we did this little trick here with the excluder. We took all the bees and we shook them down through. We made a funnel out of this box, as you remember. We took all the frames out. We didn't want to look waste time looking for our queen, but we wanted to make a split, right? So what we've done here is uh put all the bees downstairs through this funnel and then we then we put this excluder in and then we reloaded all of our frames back in there and here's 24 hours later and all these bees are coming back in there to surround those resources there and uh, so now the game plan here is to Oh, they're drinking a little syrup here. That's a good thing, huh? Lots of bees up here. That's a good thing. Hopefully we're, you know, saturated with bees here around these resources. Now we're going to steal all these resources, put it in this box. I've got it sealed up here, screen bottom. Nobody can suffocate in here. This is this is the way I suggest you guys go. And uh, these little pallet hives are working out excellent. But anyway, I'm going to transfer these over here and load it on my truck and haul it to another site. And uh, so, but this is a packed out hive. I mean, you just don't want to just throw a lid on this and haul ass because what's going to happen? Uh, it's so crowded they're going to start setting up some swarm cells in here. And this could be a second year queen. I'm not really that sure. And they have a tendency to swarm if they get too crowded. They're bringing in pollen here. That's an excellent. Whenever you see that, that's an excellent sign that this, this colony is hunky-dory, right, for a queen. So let's do that. Let's transfer these over into this box, get it on my truck, shrink wrap it, get it ready to roll and then put these in this box right but what i'm going to do we're going to make these bees i'm going to make these bees work for me okay and the way i'm going to do that is that little medium is full of resources honey there's some brood there's everything in there i'm going to set it aside and put this box down there right i'm going to load up all these re these frames in this box Put that medium back on top and seal her up. Put that feeder jar on them. And let these girls go to work, okay? Let's get into this thing. Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's smoke them back a little bit here. Smoke them babies back. Oh, yeah, we got lots of bees up here. We got such a lot of bees up here. Let's just knock these off in here. Lots of food. Lots of bees covering that those eggs. See, they they don't they don't know they're queenless yet, guys. They do not know they're queenless yet. This is going to make a seriously serious walk away split here, guys. There's not a ton of nectar in here. Well, that one frame wasn't bad, but. I got a few bees in this box we'll knock down in here. Put a plug. 
plug in here. Yeah, all I gotta do now, guys, is shrink wrap that and haul it to my next site. Now what you're gonna do here, guys, is take this excluder off. Bada bing. I'm gonna put take this, I'm gonna take this medium off and set it aside. I'm gonna put now this big old fatty back on here. This big old fatty. I'm phasing these things out, guys. These old two by two boxes. I'm phasing them out. Now all you do is load this thing back up with frames, guys. When I buy these from Man Lake, by the way, I got a crock pot in there and I get extra beeswax and I melt in it. And I got a little old cheap four roller. It's a, it's a four inch roller and I put on extra wax. These bees will jump right on this if you put a double coating of wax on. That's a little Stevo tip. A little Stevo tip. Don't you just love it when you get Stevo tips? Now I'm putting this back on top. Putting a lid on it. All right, what I just did here, guys, I put Queen right on here at 4-2. Quick little reference, you know. Any light-colored paint, you can just go around with a little roller as you're marking these things all up, and they start getting loaded up. You can't read all this stuff. Just roll a little extra paint on them. An hour later, and come back and put what you want. Here I got a check on 5-2. And that's as simple as it gets, guys. I mean, you don't have to beat your brains out looking for these queens. You want to make a, you want to make a split. You want to do it fast. This is an excellent way to go. Now, another thing you can do. I'm I'm hauling this I'm hauling this hive to a to another site, right? But say I want to stay in the same yard. What I can do is take that colony I just did. And if it needs more elbow room below the excluder, that's fine. Add another box in there. This is high as I like to get mine. If they're if they're over if they're four high, I've got some that are four high, it's ridiculous. Break those hives down and start making more nooks with them. You don't want them any higher. See, you don't want them any higher than three high, it's ridiculous. But what you can do is put your double screen board in there, right? Once you pull that out and put your double screen board in, let me let me show you what one of them look like. Okay, here's here's what it looks like, a double screen board. And you've got a screen here and one here, right? Well, when you pull this excluder out and you drop this thing in, uh, some guys turn this entrance here, and this should be necked down to about a half inch, by the way. I'll do that with a piece of screen here when I do that. I'll have a little something like I do on my nooks, you know. 
I have it to where I can open it up so they have a full size inch and a quarter hole or just a half inch slit. On all these light ones, they have a half inch slit. I will do that here. And some guys put this the opposite direction. That entrance is over there, right? Some of them do this, put this in. But I noticed Bob Benny, he's on four-way clip pallets, and he puts it out this way. So you could put it out this way. What happens, guys, all the mean bees, the field force that is in that colony up here that you did, you want a lot of nurse bees up in here. See, that's got quite a few nurse bees in it. And if I was to put that thing, this thing in, pull that excluder and put this thing in, now it's a separate hive. You could actually do a walk away with it, or you can add a cell, or you can add a virgin, or you can add a mated queen to this top. I would let it sit for 24 hours before you put in uh, whatever, okay? Because they don't know that they're queen, queenless yet. But as, as soon as you install this division board, okay, See, it's only got a shim on one side. This side's flat. This has got the shim on it, all right? And of course, this goes up, and this is your end. So this is so cool, a tool that you can use. This one happened to be, Martin gave me some free wood, and I made these out of that. But you can make these out of plywood, three-quarter plywood, and use a three-quarter shim around, whatever, yeah. But use three quarter, and that way you got three quarter gap between the bees below and the bees up top. That way they can't share uh, pheromones. So there we go, guys. Very cool, quick split. And uh, and I got a split. I got tons of work to do today, guys. I like to sit here and chitty chat with you all day, but I got work to do. Steve O's got to work like his ass is on fire. We got to pay the bills, guys. I'll see you soon. Be happy, be strong. We got to keep getting it on. See ya.